In this tutorial, you will get to know how to save colors in your swatch boxes. You will also learn how to deal with global colors and regular colors and how to install a palette, a color palette in your document. I select my table, go under View, Zoom, Zoom to Selection. Then I open my color panel, my color swatch panel under View, Studio, Swatches. Then I select my regular table tool, select my color here and I select my cell inside my table. You can see when a cell is selected, when you see a blue border. Up here I could change my font color, but since we defined the table and this is already a cell, I have to define it up here. Feel free to select your color up here, either by SMIC sliders, RGB, HSL, whatever you prefer. Now I have my cell selected, going to my swatches, top right, and I say add an application palette or document palette or system palette. Application palette means that your colors will be saved in a palette inside your Affinity Publisher application. A document palette means that your colors are saved inside your document itself. A system palette means that your colors are saved in all the apps you have on your system. In my case, I say document palette. It adds on an unnamed palette, so I go up here top right and I say rename palette and I call it table colors. Hit OK. Now, how do I save this yellow inside my table colors? The easiest would be go to the right, your yellow is selected, all you have to do is click on here and it adds the current field to your palette which is a regular yellow color. Now, if you would like to make your color global, you would have to do something in addition to that. You go to the top right and you say add global color. Global colors are very useful if you use the same color over and over again in your document, which means if you use that same yellow in different objects and you need to make a change later on, you can go in here, make the changes inside your swatches and it will be applied to the yellow everywhere in your document. Now in this case, since it's only colors used once in the document, it's up to you, but I would like to show how it works. Have my yellow selected, go up here and I say add global color, which takes me to that slider. Now I say global yellow and I can see right now black is selected since it thinks I would like to add the black border. Now I have two choices. Either I take this eyedropper, move the eyedropper over to the yellow, let go and confirm it with the little circle to the right. And I say add. Now I can see the exact same yellow with a little white triangle. This white triangle tells me that it's a global color. Now I do it a little bit different. I select my orange. Since I already picked all my colors, for me it's now easier. For you, you have to go up here or up here and select the orange you like. I have my orange selected still and I say add to my palette. Now in my case I've chosen SMIC, cyan, magenta, yellow, black since I would like to go into print. My orange is selected and I make it also global. Add global color. My orange is selected. I say yes and I add it on with the right name, global orange, add. Another possibility also have with global colors is to make it lighter, to add or to reduce the percentage of a global color. To change a global color, I select my cell, then I double click my pink, make the changes I want, and you can see it will change it all over the document automatically. Now I do the rest of the colors and we meet again down here where we apply silver and gold. and so on. Regarding white, normally white is not printed, except you are printing on, let's say, a brown paper. Then you would have to add on white as a spot color. I show you later on how that works. For right now, I just select white, add it on and say add to palette. Then go into gray, black the same. I don't need to add that, I just use the regular black and add it to my palette. Now the topic gold. Gold can only be printed in real gold if you use Pantone colors. I go up here, go into swatches, 
go in here and I choose Metallics Coated. Now in case your logo needs a Pantone color and you're printing on a glossy paper, it's recommended to use Formula Guide Solid Coated. Let's say you print your logo and you have a specific Pantone color defined for your logo and you're printing on matte paper, then you use Uncoated. In this case, we have to use Metallics Coated. I go in here and here I have my Pantone Metallics Coated color palette. Up here to the left is the most well-known gold, Pantone 871. I name it Pantone 871. And very important, I have to click Spot. Spot has to be applied to your gold. Then I say Add. Then you can see it also has a triangle, but right next to it a little round dot, which means it's a Pantone spot color. I do the same for the silver. Select my silver cell again. Go into my table colors and select again Pantone Metallics Coated. Silver. 877C is a silver a lot of printers are using and I call it that way. Don't forget to add on spot. Add. Now I save my document and we continue with the next tutorial.